Hey guys, um, in this video I'm going to be showing you an application on Android called Game Boy. What this does uh, is actually it's actually an emulator for a Game Boy Advance or I think Game Boy as well. Uh, at the moment I'm running the light version, there is a paid version um, which I think is around three pounds. Um, yes, here it is. First thing you'll see is the select ROM screen when you open up the application. From here, uh, you can select a ROM to play. Uh, but to get the actual ROMs, you need to get an application called ROM Gripper, which is just there. And what this does is it gives you a list of uh, all different. ROMs for different game systems as you can see here Game Boy Advance and there's a massive list the first thing you need to do uh, when you get ROM Gripper is download GBA BIOS that is then used in Game Boy for the BIOS settings which you can find by pressing the menu key going to settings and at the top it says GBA BIOS file you can't play any games without this file so it's important that you get this file from ROM Gripper once you've got that file you've gone to settings and you've put it there everything uh, everything should work fine so I'm just going to show you a demo of what one of the games looks like As you can see on the screen here, you have left bumper, right bumper, up, down, left, right, start, select, and A and B. You can actually change the opacity of this overlay. Um, you can also change the layout, where the D-pad is, and so on. You can change the style of the buttons. Um, <clears throat> one important thing... Uh, the difference between the light version and the uh, the paid version is that you can only actually save the game where you're allowed to save it in the game. So, for instance, um, Pokemon, um, you have to press start, go down to save, and save it the proper way. Instead of like most emulators where you can just press save here, choose a slot, <coughs> and away you go. That feature is only available in the paid version. <coughs> As you can see, quite fluid. I'm not taking my finger off the screen here, and a little ash here is moving up and down the screen. Um, <clears throat> yeah, everything seems to work fine. Uh, you can use cheats here. You can fast forward, uh, load settings, more, take a screenshot, reset, or close. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to show you uh, some of the other features. Your ROMs are actually stored... Um, on your SD card, well for the HD2 or anyway, you store on the SD card, ROMs, GBA, <coughs> <coughs> and there's all your ROMs right there. Uh, Super Mario, they're all contained in zip files, um, uh, <coughs> and they are quite quick to download from Graboid, the servers seem to be quite quick. Uh, the sound quality is pretty good. It can emulate sound as well. Um, let's have a look at some of the settings here. Uh, so you can select the volume, the scaling, how. Uh, which you want to fast forward it, screen refresh rate, maximum frames, 
how many frames you can skip, so that changes how fluid the uh, the play will be, depending on what device you have. Uh, here you can change the key mappings, uh, the key virtual keypad, the sensitivity, change everything. Uh, you can enable cheats, uh, en enable the orientation, which is <coughs> one of the important settings. Um, putting your device to landscape, full screen mode, click learn and start, which input method, I believe you can use a Bluetooth gamepad with that, and the save tab. So, uh, I think that's about it really. <coughs> um, if you want to see more videos, then subscribe to this channel. If you've got any questions about this application or any other applications, on my channel um, just leave me a message or leave something in the comment section yeah uh, this has been Game Boy. I'm 96 Edwy and I'll see you guys in the next video